praise God, brothers and sisters. You know, the wonderful God. And I just thank and praise Him for each one of you. And just bless you with His abundant love. Galatians 6 and 9 says, We will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Is it crazy to plant seeds in winter? There's no better way to release God's favor and abundant blessing in your springtime season ahead. In the natural realm, true farmers would endure to plant seeds during the snowy days of winter. They would wait for summer days when the ice melts and the ground thaws out. But in God's kingdom, the reverse is true. There is no need to await better weather because it's always time to sow seeds for souls. If we are wise stewards of the financial resources God has given us, we will take steps of faith now in preparation for our springtime season to come. Friends, plant in good ground for your financial harvest. There has never been a better time to sow your seed for souls. Now is the time to plant seeds for your coming springtime. Now is the time to get ready for your coming harvest of God's favor. So get ready to be blessed. Your step of faith today can trigger your turnaround tomorrow. Amen. There are seven steps to prepare for your harvest. God's promise are true, and He wants to bless your finances, health, emotions, and relationships. By taking these seven vital steps, you can be sure your harvest is on the way. First, walk in a loving, obedient, faith-filled relationship with God. Two, Obey God's word and the voice of his Holy Spirit. 3. Give each common seed. You sow a specific assignment for what you're asking God to do on your behalf. Some people expect husbands. So, that's what you're going to assign your seed for. Some people expect peace in their home loved ones graduating health wealth these are specific assignments that you are going to send your seed to four wrap your seed with faith and expectancy always expect supernatural blessings of God. 5. Sow your uncommon seed into good ground continuously and persistently. You know good ground because you're constantly being blessed by sowing into good ground. 6. Patiently wait to reap your uncommon harvest. 7. Thank God in advance, then honor Him with your testimony when you receive His uncommon harvest. Again, I like this last one. You thank Him in advance, then honor Him with your testimony when you receive His uncommon harvest. Amen. Father, we thank you for this lesson, 7 Steps to Prepare for Your Harvest. And bless the peace in Jerusalem. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.